<laughs> we have an expert interviewer with here tonight. What's here tonight? Wait, what? yes. We're experimenting. Uh, part of the what do we call it, Matt? The future uh, podcasters, future of, podcasters of, of America, America right? <laughs> so, yes. so we did. We did have. We're gonna try something new here, Mason. This is your first time interviewing a pro wrestler, an actual pro wrestler, right? I'm yeah. flattered. I'm excited. Yes. So, do you have a question for Miss Katie? Okay. Um, what's your record IWC? What's what? Uh, what's your record in IWC? What's your record, record, in, record in IWC? In IWC? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a very so, specific question. Do I need to go to I that mean, I could work. I could tell you that's this. A, I can't give you gotcha. all the that's a gotcha yeah, question. I don't even know how many matches I've had at IWC, but I can tell you that I am a three time women's champion at IWC. So I've definitely got several upper hands. So I want to at least say at least ten or more. At least. Okay. Okay. So. Hold on. I, I'm actually. I'm. I'm gonna see if I can find out. Probably, yeah, we, 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 cage cage we match is a wonderful thing. You see if cage I match. <laughs> We're gonna find out how closely cage match has been following your career. The, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, this no. is where. This is where Katie learns about herself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> turns out. Um, so. Actually. Uh, yes. Uh, Mason, do you have another question? Hit me. Okay. Uh, okay. What company do you want to be? I forget. Um, what company? Well, Was it which which company does she want to work for? Was that it? Yeah. Yeah, you were asking before. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I would love to be a part of any company, if I'm going to be completely honest, at least a signed company where there's more exposure, more networking. Um, but I have to be completely honest uh, with different creative ideas and, you know, having more power over my myself i would be leaning more towards aew or even mm -hmm. impact because you know the wwe is amazing all these places are amazing but if i'm gonna have somewhere where i can really strive as myself and put myself in a position that i know i'm gonna grow um and then just focus on my name overall it would probably be aew or impact I say both those places. They, they've they've definitely been the best for women's wrestling. It feels oh one hundred percent. That's I, definitely. I mean overall, you know, yeah. as a company. So yeah. I mean, I, I I don't think we can't really slash on NXT as their, as far as their women's division, but yeah. uh, but also that's still part of that bigger machine where it's like uh, <laughs> right, right. I definitely so. think the women's division is bigger or stronger rather in those two companies mm -hmm. versus um, you know WWE or NXT. But they are bringing more and more women up through NXT, like Mercedes Martinez, mm -hmm. Dakota. Like, they have a lot of good female athletes there that are just going to strive whenever they get to the main roster. So, And I know that they've gone a long way with a women's money in the bank, uh, the women's title, not just one, but for Raw and SmackDown. So I definitely think they've come a long way. I think there's just still so much more. You could always be better in any place. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, uh, I have that an was update. a good question. We do have good a good question. I have an update. <laughs> okay, yes. good job, good job Mason. Our, our live <laughs> research is going on up in yeah. Beacon, New York. I, I Let's I, take I, it to the I, offices in Beacon. Back, you know, to make sure he gets his, he gets his facts straight. Yes. That's right. Uh, so according to Cage Match, as of June 12th, uh, you are 23 wins and 16 losses. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's, okay. that's good. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. It's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> what was your? What was the first match? Was that 2016, 17? 17. 17? February okay. 2017 for the mm -hmm. women's title against Britt Baker in <laughs> Rural Valley. I need to tell you something about Britt Baker's in AEW. She's AEW World Championship, Women's World Championship. Do you know that? I do. <laughs> I do, I do know that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate, like, the, like the reminder. I mean, I didn't know if, I mean, she's wrestling tonight. There could be a change. I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> they, they, Mason's checking in on it. Thank you. <laughs> I, mean, if, I mean, if AEW is looking for someone who can beat Dr. Baker, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I know I know somebody. Yeah, yeah. You've had her so. number a couple of times over there. Me. So <laughs> she did, but to be fair, the girl did help me out at the mm -hmm. last IWC show, so I appreciate the assist. Mm -hmm. But hey, let's get back to where we normally are, girl. We're Good. better as front of me, so I would love to take you on in your own environment. I took over IWC when you were there. I'll take over AEW while you're there now. There you go. There you go. 
uh, 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 professional interviewer Mason, do you have any more questions? Okay, I got one more question. Okay. One last one question. More. This is the big question, right? Here we go. Okay, um, what's your dream match? My dream <laughs> match. That's my favorite question to be asked. <laughs> on every podcast, <laughs> On right? every podcast. <laughs> um, uh, I've been saying, I mean, a dream match, like anybody, I would probably say Lita. Ooh, I yes. love yes. Lita. She, you know, whenever I started watching wrestling uh, with my sister, it was around the Attitude Era and like Trish and Lita and everything. And I just felt more drawn to Lita than I did Trish versus everybody else. Um, and Lita just has this persona and presence about herself where she is just one bad ass woman like she mm -hmm. is just fantastic and she just doesn't give a f you know whatever <laughs> she <laughs> she's awesome so i would love 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 to have a match with her i don't care if she's retired or you know <laughs> live in her life i want a match <laughs> and she she came up in that it was that 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 mid diva ish like like of course there's a bright yeah. spot there where you had you know what jazz and trish and all them mm -hmm. but there was still a lot of like a, you know a lot of the girls looked like trish right yep and and she really stuck out and and you know, you know, with, you know of course hardy's and everything too okay. so it's probably where but. my middle school outfits came into play <laughs> <laughs> hot topic you, all of, the time a lot of hot topic oh, baggy yeah. baggy uh did you do the th <laughs> did you do the showing the thong thing or i was i couldn't do that i no? To get away with that. Plus, no. I was like, "Oh, I don't know if I should do that." <laughs> you don't go to. You're not going to school with that. I'm, I'd imagine. No, so. I couldn't do that. <laughs> did, did you do the? Did okay. you do the uh, the cut up stockings on the hands? Like the... I did one time. For, I think it was for Valentine's Day. I drew. I like wore all black and like a little bit of red. And I went into school thinking like, "Yeah, love me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy but yes dream match lita 100 okay one more question okay, oh he's got one another more. one. Oh, wow. we can't stop no, him no, now he's he's on a roll now. i guess it's the mason mayhem show now let's do it what what is it what's question? okay oh uh, what title shot are you coming for what title shot are you coming for is that right yep mm. a title shot oh my gosh oh yeah yeah i know you oh. uh, you've been showing up in a lot of different companies i've seen yeah, I mean. So there's a lot. There's a lot out there. <laughs> I mean, definitely. I mean, there's that. That's a loaded question. That could be anywhere. I mean, I'm definitely trying to expand my horizons more and get out there more. But I mean, I think the most realistic one, if I could, it would be to maybe go after Diana Perazzo mm -hmm. as the knockout mm -hmm. champion. I mean, she's definitely up there in one of my matches that I would love to have. And I know she's been through here. I, I can't remember if you had a match with her previous or not. I have not. No, no. I, I, okay, no. I was in a, a four-way with, Aww. it was her, Britt, and Ray Lynn. And it was IWC 2017. Okay. So we had very little interaction, though. And okay. that was before she became the badass that she is now, you know, like she definitely grew into herself. So oh, I would love to, you know, get a handle on that now and definitely stretch out my arms. <laughs> against their face is that what you were meant to say okay. no i want to stretch my arms so whenever she goes for her arm bar i'm like i don't need to tap yet i'm, I'm good to where i am yes yes, <laughs> yes so awesome awesome uh so so M mason are there any more surprise questions first of all before i go on um nope Nope, you're good. <laughs> okay. You're good. Anything. Well, thank you. Hey, that's, I love that's good it. enough yes. for Mason here, because I mean, job. I think that's our future. And, and, and <laughs> thank you, Beautiful. thank you. Beautiful. Um, but uh, 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 I don't know where to go from now. I was expecting Mason to have another question. <laughs> let, 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 let me ask you a quick question. I, I, I got, a, I got a loaded question. Okay. It might be, be, it might be worse than Mason's, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, oh no. Oh, um, what? Oh, if it's boy, a number we thing, go. we're gonna have. I'm, to I'm not gonna ask you what your record is, but um. As far as the pandemic's concer concerned, um, did it make you better or did it make you worse definitely, as a performer? It definitely made me better because it definitely pushed me to get to where I need to be without having the constant repetition every week and every weekend. So it definitely gave me more opportunities to go down and train and do more of what I want to try in the ring. And whenever I was presented the opportunity, I think it definitely... It went a long way 
For sure. Plus, it forced me to really like work out on physically at home and really put myself in a different position. Use, you know, triggering muscles I don't always do. So it definitely changed me physically. And then in a mental state where, you know what, whenever I got back in the ring, like sometimes they say you you become parallel and you have to like take a break with any situation. And I think it was a blessing in disguise because I feel like I was on a, a good roll, but I still wasn't where I wanted to be. So with the break, I think it pushed me mentally and physically. So when I got back in the ring, I was like, wow, I feel like I didn't miss a beat, but more so skipped beats because I feel like I'm in a better place than I would have if things would have just continued the way that they did. It felt like Look, go ahead. Do you think it's? Do you think that same thing is true for other wrestlers, or to put it another way, do you think the the layoff kind of separated, you know, I don't know, like one class of professional wrestlers and another class of professional wrestlers who, the ones who got better and the ones who maybe stayed the same. I mean, I definitely think it forced people to realize what they really wanted and how they were going to come out after all this. So like for me, I I think there's definitely people like me where they're like, okay, this is a break, but I'm going to push myself during this break and come back even stronger. And I think that definitely showed a lot of strengths and weaknesses for people that didn't and took more, didn't take advantage of the opportunity to, you know, focus on themselves rather than just the matches. Cause it's not just about the matches, it's not about the moves. It's not about that. It's about the fans and it's about, <laughs> it's just about, you know, perfecting your overall self. So I definitely think it showed who your real friends are. You know, mm-hmm. if you really want to create the, like perfect this craft or just take advantage of it because you think you're fine where you are, you can always be better. So if you're not, trying if if you if you're not bruised if you're not feeling pain then did you really do anything wow cut cut (laughs) (laughs) save that clip save that clip (laughs) that's the one going on uh no uh, thank you so much katie uh for for hanging out with us here yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, I said you're, you can see your matches on the pre- recent uh, editions of Prospect Pro Wrestling. Yes. Um, and, and real quick, like, where can people check you out in the in the near future here? Yes, go find me on all the social medias. You can find me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, Katie Arquette. Go to Instagram, the Katie Arquette, and Twitter, the KT Arquette, because I can't add three more letters into the Twitter <laughs> name. So uh, definitely like, share, retweet, and comment on all of my stuff. I'll definitely look for them. There you go. And you have listings where I'll be showing up uh, from there, right? So Yeah, definitely. See where I'm headed to next. 